Welcome back, Julie Yee here again with another episode in the Director's Vlog series. Today we have Beth Taylor, Director of Marketing and Communications, to share the story about ATPCO's recent transformation. Hi, excited to be here. So as the Director of Marketing, Marketing and Communications, can you describe your journey of ATPCO's recent transformation of the Global Conference? Sure. So I came into ATPCO roughly two years ago, um, right when we had finished our Global Conference for that year. And we embarked on a series of transformations across the company, um, both looking at our brand, looking at our value to the industry, and then that ultimately came to fruition in a complete rebrand that was announced at the following year's um, global conference, which we renamed to Elevate uh, in 2017. So Elevate 2017 and then this past Elevate 2018 have been the first two conferences in which we've really expanded the way that we talk about ATPCO and our value. So we're not just talking about products, we're talking about ideas, and we're really transitioning and asserting ourselves as leaders in the next generation of distribution. Um, some of the things that we've looked at as we've evolved the conference is how do we talk at a higher level um, so that we're engaging the right audiences within each of our customer um, our airline customers and our channel customers um, to make sure that they're equipped with us as a valued partner in what they're doing to achieve um, their commercial goals. So you just talked about fresh content being the biggest focus on evolving the conference. Can you give us an example of what some of the ideas were? Yeah, so you know at, at least in the last two years we've gone like I said from talking about product to ideas and really driving market conversation. Um, in the last two years and even this last year, um, you know, we're really focused on like big ticket topics like what does the future of airline retailing look like? What does the future of NDC look like and the future of distribution? What is our role in helping the market get to there faster? Um, what is the future of dynamic offer creation and um, dynamic pricing? All of these topics are really coming together in our main day of Elevate and the days following um, to allow our customers to kind of see what the market's doing across the globe, um, and also expose some of the channel partners and um, the longer tail of it, the ecosystem, like technology providers, startups, et cetera. Um, we're really the, probably the only platform in the, in the um, industry that still serves as a very neutral platform for, the, for an event like this, which, which allows people to come to the event know that they're going to have unparalleled reach, they're going to have a seat at the table with people from every level. Um, it's been interesting since we've kind of transitioned content to be bigger, broader, um, more forward-looking, we've seen a dramatic change in the, in the uh, attendees of the event. So in the last year even, our attendance is 40% director level and above. Um, we've increased the executive attendance by half, so 52% increase in executive attendance year over year. Um, it's pretty unheard of, um, but it shows just how quickly we're moving and that people have kind of tuned in and are jumping on board. Great. So going off of that, what would you say were the biggest highlights from Elevate 2018? Um, by far, there were a few like really big highlights, and the first one we had um, the Root Happy CEO, Bob Albert, on stage with the big three U.S. carriers talking about their vision for the future of airline retailing. Um, very rarely do you see carriers come together on stage um, for many various reasons um, to present a unified goal for the industry to move faster, to be able to help um, provide their offer to consumers in a better way. I thought the other interesting part of that, so that's big carrier discussion, um, the next like, most important or the most uh, highly rated session was our Bridge Lab Showcase, which is all about the startup ecosystem and kind of those new ideas, new innovators that have a really great idea. And ATPCO serves to kind of give them mentorship, expertise, access to test data, so that our airline customers and our channel customers know that they've been vetted and they can kind of pick and choose of some of these um, new ideas on our stage. So before we end, just wanted to ask if you had any other exciting news you wanted to share, anything else that, you know. Yeah, I mean, before we end, I guess what's on, what's on the top of my mind is, uh, you know, as part of our transformation a year ago, um, we acquired Root Happy, which was a leader in their field with um, kind of leapfrogging the way the industry looks at rich content, amenity data, ticket attributes. Um, we acquired them 
February 1st of 2018. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how ATP Co and Root Happy work more closely together and the value that creates for our customers. Um, you know, we've already started integrating a number of things, um, but really, like, it's once you hit that stride uh, with both leaders working together, with teams working together, with our customers coming together, because HP Co traditionally has spoken to one area of the airline, Root Happy in another area. Um, like I said, you know, we're, we're working on bringing bridges, like, uh, so that people can get things done more quickly. Um, so I'm really excited to see how that mixture of kind of um, entrenched expertise and um, history with air, with um, fair, fair-related data and pricing data can come together with shopping data and kind of this new age of retailing. Uh, there's just so much under the covers there and there's a lot to look forward to um, as we move into 2019. Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and be sure to tune in next time for the next episode in the Director's Vlog series.